So currently smart home is trending, but if you think about it, if you just want to control your lights using your phone, you're gonna have to buy the smart lights itself. You're gonna have to buy a hub like an Amazon Echo or an Apple HomePod. But today, I'll show you a cheaper alternative that is using a Note MCU and using Blink on your smartphone. Let's get started. So how this will work is your Note MCU will connect via Wi-Fi. So it will connect to your home Wi-Fi and then you have Blink on your phone that also connects to the Wi-Fi and we can send data and receive data via that connection. Now for Blink, you can send signals to say turn on an LED or relay. You can also receive a sensor data from the board itself. So you're gonna need a smartphone with Blink, some wires, a breadboard, a Note MCU, we have a relay, we also have a random solenoid valve. Here are the schematics if you want to follow. Now we can get started on the code. So open our phone and we can hop on to Blink. Now once you logged in, uh, you can create a new project. Choose the type of device. Now, if you have a Note MCU, you have to select the ESP8266. Connection type would be Wi-Fi. And you can name your project. Okay, so we have confirmed that Blink has sent us an authentication token uh, in your email. So you have to keep that. We have to use it later on. So once we get on to this page, we can add a button. Let me just move the button into the middle. So once you can click on to the button and you can name it, you can change its color and the output, which is important, we have to select the pin. Now uh, I have con connected it to pin D1 so we can go digital and GP1 which is the same. So the mode would be switch because if you select push it would only activate if you hold the button. So we need to, it to go to switch and the last thing is if you see the, in the output, uh, after GP1, there is 0 and 1. Now that just means, uh, 0 means no voltage and 1 means a high or in this case 3.3 .3 volts. Uh, the relay uh, triggers using low. So we have to switch 1 and 0. So this will be 1, this would be 0. And now our configuration on this should be done. Okay, so now we can start to program the Note MCU. Okay, so now we connect the Note MCU up to the computer. Now that we have uh, co it connected up to the computer, you have to go on to the internet and you can type in ESP8266 uh, library. And the first one you have to go on GitHub, it's this one. So you can follow the instructions of how to install. And now we can go to tools, boards, and then board manager. You can search ESP8266 right here. So I already have it installed. So we have to select the board. Yeah, this will do. Generic 8266. So you can go onto Blink. 
uh, examples. So once you're on the website, you, uh, you can select the board and the connection Wi-Fi, just like on the app. Now the authentication token, I'm just gonna get it real quick from my Gmail and then I'll put it on the authentication token. Now, what you can do is you can copy this example, go onto your Arduino, uh, and now uh, you can paste. So the only extra additional thing you need to do is here you need to add your network name and the password of that network after we selected the board we can go to ports and then select the com port that your board is connected to so i know that mine is from com6 so i'll just upload the code there we're done uploading so now it's connected to wi-fi you can see the IP address and we can open our phone now. So now I'll just get onto Blink again. So there it says that now the board is online. So now I have it connected. When I press the button on, it will light on. And when I press it off, it will stop lighting. So now we can try it on the relay. So now we have got everything set up and figured out. The problem that I found was I was using this 5 volt relay, but the Note MCU uses 3 volt. So I had to switch to 3 volt relay that I had. Let's do a demonstration. When I press the button, you can hear the relay clacking and you can also hear the solenoid valve. So now that we're finished, uh, if you're doing this project, you can move on to doing the piping to connect to this relay and also make an enclosure for your Note ESP and this relay because you don't want to get it wet. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe and I'll stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.